turn to uh, Daniel chapter 4. Daniel chapter 4, when you find your place there, turn to uh, Proverbs chapter 16. Proverbs chapter 16, uh, look at verse 18. Proverbs 16, verse 18. The Bible reads, Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just ask that you would use me now uh, to give me grace to speak your word. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Uh, I want to talk uh, to you guys about a particular sin that I believe is the most uh, dangerous and destructive sin in the Christian life, and that is pride. Yeah. You know, we, we talk about a lot of different sins. We talk about fornication. We talk about uh, drunkenness. We talk about uh, uh, adultery. We preach against all these things, uh, you know, covetousness, divorce. We talk about all these things, and don't get me wrong, those are very wicked sins, okay? And, and they have very, uh, uh, I'm not downplaying their destructive effects at all. But pride is, I believe, is worse than them all. Okay? Oh, it is the worst. The Bible says there no. in uh, Proverbs 16, look at verse 18. The Bible says, pride goeth before destruction. You see, the word destruction is uh, directly correlated with pride. If you're a prideful person, surely what's going to come next is destruction. Amen. Amen. Uh, turn to uh, Proverbs chapter 8. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. Proverbs 8, 13. The Bible says, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. That's a good statement right there, right? We hate yeah. evil at Verity Baptist Church, right? Yeah. 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 Well, we hate we hate abortion. We hate seeing 3,000 innocent babies being put to right. death. Right. Right. That's right. We hate those sodomites, all right? We hate yeah. those filthy child molesters. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's right. The Bible says, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. What's See that call in there? Yeah. It's going to give us a list. What's number one? Pride. 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 And arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth. What are these last three words? Do I hate? Amen. Okay. God hates pride. Now flip back to Daniel chapter 4. Now we're getting into the story here. Daniel chapter 4 uh, is uh, King Nebuchadnezzar, basically he's writing this letter to all nations. Look at verse 1. Daniel chapter 4, verse 1. Nebuchadnezzar the king, unto all people, nations and tongues, that dwell in all the earth, peace be multiplied unto you. I thought it good to show the signs and wonders that the high God had brought toward me. How great are his signs and how mighty are his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his dominion is from generation to generation. If you know anything about King Nebuchadnezzar, he was a very prideful man. Now, this whole chapter deals with a dream that he had about a large tree that grew up and then you know, it fed all the nations and all the people and then it was cut down. And uh, look at verse uh, 28. All this came upon King Nebuchadnezzar. Now this whole chapter is dedicated, you know, King Nebuchadnezzar wants the world to hear this. Look at verse 28. And all this came upon King Nebuchadnezzar. At the end of the 12 months, he walked in the palace of the kingdom of Babylon. He was walking around in the palace there. The king spake and said, Is this, or is not this great Babylon, catch this, that I have built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty while the word was in the king's mouth there fell a voice from heaven saying O King Nebuchadnezzar to thee it is spoken the kingdom is departed from thee and they <laughs> shall that. drive thee from men and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field they shall make thee to eat grass as oxen and it goes into more details You're pretty much humiliated okay so what happened here was that King Babylon saw the works that his hands had made. And I'm not, I, I'm not doubting, you know, King uh, Nebuchadnezzar, all the, the, the countless hours that he put in, all the labor, the blood, the sweat, and the tears, and the sleepless nights that he put in. You know, any of us could easily get up and say, look at all that I've done. Yeah. You know, look at all these hours I've put into my ministry. Look at all the souls that I've won to Jesus Christ. Yeah, good. Look at all the, you know, look how many times uh, I've read the Bible. You know, look at what uh, 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 the children that I've raised. Look at verse 37. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the king of heaven, all whose works are truth and his ways judgment, and those that walk in pride, he is able to abase. That's the truth. Okay? So we see King Nebuchadnezzar uh, making a prideful statement. He's looking at uh, the, the, the accomplishments that he's, named, that he's made. But let me ask you this question. What is your battle on? 
What is your Babylon? That's what good. have you built with your hands? Yeah, that's good. Maybe How many souls have you won to the Lord? Maybe you're a great soul winner. Maybe you're a great mother and you've raised you know, children. You've done the homeschooling. You've done everything right. Maybe you're a father. You work, you know, 12, 13, 14 hours a day to put food on the table. That's good. Come on. But when you walk around in your palace, whatever that palace is, do you say, you know, look what I've done? <laughs> Let me ask you this question. Who gave you your hands? Amen. Who gave you your feet? That's right. Who gave you your voice to share the gospel? That's right. It sure wasn't you. I mean, first off, it was your mother that brought you into this world. Amen. <laughs> I know, but God is giving you that life. Amen. Amen. That's right. Put the breath in your lungs. Who are we to boast against God? Yeah. You know, this movement is really young and it's growing really fast. And I, I, I pray to God that it keeps growing and keeps uh, that momentum keeps going. But you know what? We need to take heed that we don't become prideful. Yeah. Right. Amen. You know, the king of it, uh, uh, Israel, you know, when they prospered, God prospered them. What happened? Amen. They fell into sin. What did they do? They took credit for themselves. Right. Yeah. I have to look what my hands have done. Yeah. You know, just a story about Gideon. You know, that we heard about. Uh, like is, uh, Trump. God wants the glory in our lives. <laughs> Amen. Right. Yeah. And the cool Amen. thing about Gideon is God made it impossible for men to glory in themselves. Right. Amen. Okay. Let us not glory in ourselves for anything. Anything. I have a couple of verses for you. Galatians chapter six. You don't have to turn there, but if you want to, you can. Galatians chapter six, verse fourteen. The Bible says, but God forbid that I should glory. This is Paul speaking. But God forbid that I should glory. That's the same thing that uh, King Nebuchadnezzar did. He was, he was glorying. You know? That's right. But God forbid that I should glory. Save. Save. Okay. There's one thing that we can glory in. In the, the cross, cross of our of Lord our Jesus Lord. Christ. Amen. Amen. By whom the world Amen. is crucified unto me and I unto the world. We shouldn't be glorying in anything. We shouldn't be boasting in anything. Yep. Save the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 17, you don't have to turn there, but it says, But he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Amen. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 17 says, Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be glory and honor. I'm sorry, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 We should only glory in Jesus Christ and the work Amen. that he's done. Because at this one point, when it comes down to the wire, when it comes down to the nitty gritty, okay? We all deserve to go to hell. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Okay. We all deserve to be tormented day and night, forever and ever. That's right. right. That's the truth. There's no boasting yeah. in Christ. Yeah. No boasting in Christ. Yeah. Right. Good. Okay. We deserve to go to hell. But glory be to God that we are saved by grace yes. through faith. Yeah. And that Amen. not of ourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Yeah. Yeah. There's no boasting in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right. There should be no boasting in this room. We shouldn't get on Facebook or YouTube and say, hey, how many souls have you won to the Lord? Right. Yeah. How many times have you read the Bible? That's boasting in yourself. That's right. And I, I rip on Facebook and the YouTube comments because that's just a prevalent issue, I think, in our movement. Yeah, yeah. Right. that's right. Some of you need to yeah. sit down and shut up. Yeah. 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 And uh, humble yourself before God. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Don't be so boastful. Because you know what? God can take your voice away from you. That's right. That's right. He can. Yeah. God can take your life from you. Okay? That's right. So let's always be careful. Always be conscious to give God the glory in all that we do. Amen. 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 Let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, just thank you for this word. You with the rest of the preachers in Jesus' name, pray. Amen. 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 Good preaching, brother.